I have to make sure my hair is nice. Hold on, wait. I forgot my perfume. Um. You want to know what I smell like? You really want to know? Um. Pink Palm. Hi, I'm Lily Eagle. I am the creator of We're the Top 5. Um, you probably like, what the fuck is a We're the Top 5? Well, just, it's a YouTube series that I'm making. It's actually being animated. Um, I figured I would do a video to give some background on the series. But first, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me. Now, for my subscribers, you might know some of these things. I like Squishmallows. I really like Squishmallows. And I also like stuffed animals. And obviously, fictional characters. My favorite animal, I would say, is either a bird or a cat. Maybe a cat. I am a girl. If you didn't know that, it's one of my stuffed animals. Its name is Oyo's. It's, it kind of looks like my cat, Mabel, who you all probably know who she is. Kind of looks like Mabel, so I named it Oyo's, which is one of her nicknames. And I own this! I'll let you all meet my Squishmallows. Okay, and some of the other stuffed animals on my bed. So, uh, you already met Oyo's. I'm gonna try to explain the show as best as possible. Okay, so we have the top five, these shitheads. And then we have Nebula, who's like their dad. He kind of like take care takes care of them. He's their dad, basically. And then we have Oswald who's basically their other dad. So Oswald and Nebula are kind of like good cop, bad cop. And then we have Legolas, who is their chaperone when they go places. Also, in other words, kind of their big brother or their uncle. I think uncle works better. Basically, the top five do something stupid. Nebula saves the day, hence to why his song is called Save the Day. I hate Nebula, by the way. And, it up, blanked out. Basically, top five do something stupid, Nebula saves the day, and then rinse and repeat every episode. And every episode they do a different stupid thing. Stop falling over, Oyos. Every episode they do something else stupid. That's basically the premise of the show. Oh, and another part. Chica has a cooking show in every episode. The song to that cooking show is playing in the background of this clip right here. Chica's cooking show is also there. Oh shit, I forgot my gloves! Um, as I'm putting my gloves on, I want to knock this out as fast as possible. I really don't want this video to be that long, so that it doesn't take a year to upload to YouTube. But okay, so, Mabel voice. Hi, I'm Mabel! Um, <laughs> this sounds so stupid. Um, this is the Eleanor voice. It's kind of easy. This is the Fuyuhiko voice, I'm still working on it, it sounds like shit! Um... This is Yoshi! Hi! And this is the Chica voice, I look so stupid when I do these. This is the Biakia voice! I know, fancy. Nebula sounds like this, he's just your basic BRITISH! HE'S BRITISH! Uh, Oswald just sounds like me. And Legolas sounds like this, do we really have to be doing all this stupid shit today? Like, really? Okay. You- you did it! You listened to the voices! Yay! I can't put music here, that's what the section's about. Yes, I have to make the music for this show, too. Some of you are probably thinking, like, ah, she uses, like, GarageBand live loops or just something like that. I think we'd know if I was using GarageBand live loops. I have to make the music on my iPad on a program called Medley, because I haven't seen my actual music pro program since 2020. Right, right, you see all these tracks? See those? I had to make those. Wow! It's a song! Some of you who may have checked the OST channel may have seen that one of the songs is called Potty Train. I'll explain that later. Basically what I do is... I go and I place these notes where I think these they'd sound good. I pick like a tempo and everything. So like this is the bass for the conflict song right here in the first track. I don't actually do that. I do what sounds good in my head and then see if it actually sounds good. I have to get rid of those now. But 
once I'm done putting all those pieces together, we get some weird shit like this. And that's how I do the music. Ah, where'd this come from? Uh, <laughs> okay, potty train. You're probably wondering, why the f is one of the songs called Potty Train? It's called Potty Train! Okay, well, there's a reason. It's based off of a really old inside joke. That's basically the whole reason. Me and my brother, Ollie, have this really, really old home movie called The Sickness, where actually some of the characters in Where the Top Five were featured in this home movie. I was in that movie. And I had to make a song for an inside joke called Potty Train, which was Zack from the same series as Eleanor, and Junie B. Jones. So they are like, Singing, here's a clip of the original. Potty train. Potty train. Potty train, potty train. Potty train, potty train, potty train. Potty train. I know, it's terrifying. So I had to remake that song, and yes, the top five are required to sing there, so I do have to keep the ah, ah, unfortunately. But basically all it is, it's- that episode is a reincarnation of this huge inside joke. That's literally all episode 9 is going to be. And Potty Train is recreated in that episode. There! I explained it. I forgot the gloves again! I think before I go, I'm gonna let you all have an episode leak. So you're gonna get that. Because, you know, I finished the voice acting and whatnot. I'm just- Pick one. I guess this works. Can't we just call Nebula like you do every day? You see, I would, but he's on a date right now and I don't want to bother him. Dennis! You gotta be like. I have an idea! Let's go outside and see if someone can help us. Guess Fuyuhiko says dead ass. Okay! Bye!